All right, if you want to know how you can grow plants inside, then I guess you clicked on the right video. This right here and this right here are our two growing beds for our aquaponics. And aquaponics is different from hydroponics because aquaponics uses fish to produce the nutrients needed for the plants to grow. So we have some platies, some sword tails, and other fish in here too. The glare is kind of bad, but that's just from the light. Right now, as you can see, we have all kinds of different plants growing. We've successfully grown all the plants in this one and all of them in this one, except the cucumbers. And we're trying to experiment with onions because we've seen in places where they say onions can't be grown in aquaponics. And we're gonna see what, how they do. We ha start. We always start our plants off in paper towels or cotton balls. And you can see they start sprouting. Little sprouts come up everywhere. We use hydrotin, which is an expanded clay pebble for our soil or for the base to hold the nutrients because it's Got a bunch of little holes in it that hold the nutrients really well. And here, this is our jalapeno pepper plant. And it's got all kinds of little peppers there. It's got one big pepper there. It's got more little peppers there. And then in the back, you can see another one. And we have everything planted to make a basic salsa. Because we're going to try and do that. So we have over tomato. here, back there is some tomatoes. And we have all kinds of lettuce and basil and cilantro. But let's get into how this system we works. We used to use bell siphons where the water is constantly pumping, but then I got my aquaponic system, which if you watch the video, you saw my aquaponic system. I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to see it. But we got it, and we saw how you don't need to have your pump on the whole time. It saves a lot of electricity. And so we cut our pumps on on timers, and you can see back there we actually used a fish food, like an old fish food thing that we cleaned out and cut a hole in and um, made sure that none of the pebbles can go back down in it. But then, once the water gets up to that level, it drains. And then the water can, or the roots of the plants can get a lot of oxygen. And it makes them do really well. You can actually see even where our plants go, where our water comes in. It comes in right there, and then it also comes in through here. So we have two grow beds. You can kind of see for some reason that when the seeds sprout, the paper towels and cotton balls, they always turn like a yellow color like that. And I have no idea why, but if you know, just comment down below and tell me and we can figure out why. We used to use a lava rock for our um, rocks instead of hydrotin. But the lava rocks, they were just heavier. The only thing that was that was better about lava rocks than hydrotin was that you could just drop seeds in because they were heavy enough that most of the time the seeds wouldn't uh, fall to the bottom. Where these, they're really light, and when the water comes up, um, at first they'll float until they get full of water and nutrients. 
but then they'll um they'll still be really light and your seeds might fall through them just with them being even lighter for our lighting we took a metal rod here a metal sheet and then we took a bunch of lights like white lights white led lights and then we hooked them all together right there and that's one one of our light racks and then the other one is right here which we did the same thing just not as many lights and those are what are growing our plants we have our water pump on a timer and i'll show you when it cuts on it looks like the pump is just cut on and started sucking up water. You can see our pump down there. It's a pretty big pump. And now it's gonna pump water up the tubes and it's gonna split right there and go into the two different grow beds. The water will continue to keep pumping until it can reach over there and the water will be high enough where it can go through that and back down to the bottom. You can actually see the water pumping up through this tube right here. Now the water is high enough that you can hear it coming out in the bottom. Here you can see the water coming out. This is the overflow water coming out of the grow beds. So it's pumping up there going up into the grow beds and it's being high enough and it's coming right back down there. You can see the water coming up through in between the hydrat and, and the plants. And the water is finally that level. And my camera would focus, there it goes. Now the water has a really good flow, and it's also an easy way to aerate your water. Filling out both of the tubes, one from each grow bed. It will continue to pump the water until the timer cuts off, and then the water will drain all the way back out. The water that's high enough will drain back out the overflow tube, and the rest of the water will just go from exactly where it came in. It'll come right back through the pump. So that's how our roots get oxygen. And so they don't have root rot, which is a big problem in regular aquaponic and hydroponic.